Okay, class, uh, let's look at current events before the bell rings for the end of the class. Remember, it's May, and we live in Indiana. So our current events subject for this month is the Indianapolis 500. I have a brief PowerPoint presentation I'd like to show you before the bell rings. Uh, our presentation is about Gordon Johncock. He was a two-time winner of the Indianapolis 500. Oh, wait, let me back up. I forgot a, uh, an important thing. Remember the assassinations of Kennedy and Lincoln, how there's a lot of similarities between the two? I'm going to show you some similarities between his two wins. All right, here we go. Gordon Johncock won in 1973 and 1982. As you can see, the numbers in the year 1973 add up to 20, and in 1982, they also add up to 20. John Cox's car number both years was 20. His sponsor and car owner both years was the same. John Cox won in 73 in his ninth start. Nine starts later, he won his second. In 1973, his teammate, driving car number 40, started fourth, and was involved in an accident that red flagged the race. That was Swede Savage. In 1982, his teammate, driving car number 40, started fourth and was involved in an accident red flagging the race. That was Mario Andretti. In 1973, there was a, start line, a starting accident, and in 82, there was a starting accident. The youngest driver in the field was involved in both. You can't really see that that well, but there's uh, Dale Whittington. <clears throat> and you can't see Walter real well either. But that's... And I'll get to those, uh, some more information about those two later. As you can see, the fastest rookie qualifier in 73 drove car 12. There he is. And in 82. And there he is. In 1973, the Johnny Rutherford drove car number seven, had a star on his helmet, went to win the 500 the following year. In 1982, Tom Sneva drove car number seven, had a star on his helmet, and went on to win the 500 the following year. Now, the youngest driver in the field. In 1973, I mentioned his name was Salt Walther. Salt was his nickname because he used to race powerboats. But his initials are D, W. He had car 77. As you can see, that adds up to 14. In 1982, the youngest driver in the field had the initials D, W. He drove car number 95. That adds up to 14. Both years, A.J. Foyt drove car number 14. I didn't do this on my own. I got this out of one of the books I own at home. His name was Bob Watson. OK, class dismissed. Have a good night. <laughs>